So today is the final day in my 30 day series of posting one long form video every day. So for those of you who have been following along in the series, you know that my goal in doing this has been to try and get my ad revenue up to $1,000 a month. So you're probably wondering, what's the conclusion? Was I successful? And the answer to that question is no. I only made $396 from watch page ads in the last 28 days. But if you check the overall revenue figure for the month of March, you'll see that the number is almost poetic. It turns out that my overall revenue for March was just over $1,000. And a significant portion of that $1,000 was from a single very large super thanks donation on the very first day. Even though I wasn't able to reach my primary goal of getting to $1,000 a month in recurring ad revenue, I'm still very glad to see that it's at least possible to maintain $400. I also want to thank everyone who followed along with this experiment. I think almost all of the videos that I posted over the last month got at least a few thousand views. So it's good to know that there's actually an audience for this kind of content out there. I also want to give a very special thanks to the 17 people who gave a super thanks donation over the last month. This is where the majority of my overall $1,000 revenue came from this month. And I also want to give thanks to anyone who signed up for a YouTube membership or a Patreon pledge. Before I started this challenge, I think I only had about $50 in Patreon supporters. But now, along with the YouTube memberships, I think that's close to about $150. Bucks. So together with the ad revenue, I think that makes around $500 a month a fairly realistic goal. Another interesting update that I don't think I mentioned yet is is after having my merch store up for I think as many as three years now, I finally got my first sale a few weeks ago. And I also got my second sale a few days ago. So if you're one of those two people, I'll work on getting your item shipped in the next few days. So at this point, it's worth asking what happens now and what am I doing with my life? So in terms of the future of this YouTube channel, I'm going to continue to post videos similar to the ones that I've posted over the last 30 days. Now I know that there's a really significant variety to the content that I've posted, but there's a lot of concepts that interest me that I want to talk about. Now I know that some people have said that they really don't like the business videos, but I don't just want to teach people about technology. I would also like to see more business oriented engineering people in the world too. And in relation to the consulting stuff that I was doing before with businesses, I've almost come to view the YouTube content as an extension of that. Even though I said previously that I'm not actively pursuing new consulting contracts, I think even if I was going to pursue that, I would probably just make YouTube videos about it. Going out to networking events and meeting people in person is definitely more impactful but the scalability of reaching people with video is much higher. And as I've described in some of my videos, the business market that I thought existed for professional services isn't really there, but there seems to be dramatically more casual interest from consumers. And based on some of the response that I've received from the videos over the past 30 days, it does seem like there's a market for this. Now, over the next few weeks, I will definitely be slowing down my video production rate dramatically. In fact, I'll probably drop back down to the one video per week with the Linux command YouTube Shorts. I have no idea what my schedule will be long term, but eventually, I can hopefully get back to doing long form as well. Also, sorry for not responding to people's comments as much. There's of course been a lot more comments than lately, and I've been more busy than usual. Having said that, I do read basically all of the comments. Also, something else I should mention, I was thinking about experimenting with my very first live stream, maybe tomorrow or Saturday. I can't promise much, and it'll probably be very short. It'll probably just be a technical test to see if I can even get it working. Overall, I'd say that I'm very glad that I did this experiment. Ideally, I would have taken a bit more time to polish the videos more, and maybe make them a bit longer, but I had a lot of ideas that were sitting in the back of my mind, and if I had have waited to do them perfectly, I probably never would have gotten around to doing them. Okay, now let's finish off with some notes about real world stuff. So technically, I am still doing software development with one of my clients. Now, I said in the beginning of the series that this client paid me a bit, but he still owes me a bunch, and that has not changed, and I haven't talked to him at all over the last 30 days. So that's one of the things on my to-do list during my break period. And if he does pay and request a bit more work, then I'll be working on that for a while. And you might also be wondering, how's the rent eviction situation going? So here's a letter that I'll read to you that I got through my mail slot the other day. And this letter is addressed to me personally. Dear Robert, upon completion of our parking lot audit, it has come to our attention that you have a vehicle occupying a parking spot. Your vehicle is not registered with the office, nor are you permitted a spot according to your lease agreement. Please proceed with one of the following options by April 15th. If you want to continue occupying the parking spot, we would be happy to assign you a spot for a monthly fee of $250 a month. Please visit or contact the office by April 15th. Failing to do either of these options will result in the vehicle being tagged and or towed. Now, when I got that letter, my heart just sank because I thought, you know, my car is going to get towed. But then I remembered that I don't own a car. Now, as for other happenings in the building, I don't believe that any additional tenants have gotten N13 eviction notices yet. 
However, I did go to a tenant meeting last night where they brought up the fact that apparently the building owner has applied for a permit to install dishwashers in 84 units, which is basically the entire building. And this permit says that they also want to do extensive changes to all the plumbing and basically the entire building. So it seems like it's only a matter of time before I end up getting a rent eviction notice as well. Oh, and the punchline is, apparently in this vertical slice of the building, where they're trying to rent evict everyone right now, they say that they need to rent evict people because that's the part of the building where they have to do renovations. But at the same time, where they're trying to rent evict tenants in the existing units, they're still moving in new tenants in that slice of the building. And of course, they're charging them dramatically higher rents. Okay, that's it for this update, and now I'll leave you with some of my favorite sounds of the apartment upstairs being renovated. <coughs> the because now it means you have twice as many bosses. But this is all... And as a bonus feature, 